MTD CNC have travelled today to the East Midlands to visit RDL Technologies, one of the area's leading precision machinists. We're actually here today to meet with Ray Lockwood, who's the managing director, and we're going to have a conversation with him about manufacturing in the UK, his machine shop, and what his plans are for 2014. Okay, so here we are inside the main office at RDL Technologies. I'm going to introduce you to Ray Lockwood, who's the managing director of RDL. Good morning, Ray. Good morning, Paul. Yeah, Ray, good to see you today. I thought it might be a good opportunity for you to give us an insight about your business. Obviously, you're one of the uh, leading subcontractors in the, uh, in the East Midlands area. Tell us a little bit about RDL. Uh, RDL was founded in 2000, okay. um, 13 years ago. Um, we, we started off um, a brand new company. We've grown year on year, every year. We've, uh, we've introduced things like night shift working, okay. weekend working which uh, obviously gives us the edge over our competitors. That is one of the reasons why we've grown every year. Right. Um, because we've got now got the ability and flexibility, yeah. which customers demand nowadays, okay. Okay. Um, to, to produce uh, the components that they want in yeah. the time frame that they want. So you run a night shift here. What do you run, five days a week or seven days a week? We are actually open seven days a week. We run a three shift system. We do um, four days, four nights, and then we run a three-day weekend. Right, okay, so you're, you're pretty much mach production machining, yeah, all the time. Yes, we are. The only, the only time that we don't run is nights at the weekend, which obviously then we've also got that to introduce if demand requires it. Um, and what sort of industries are you servicing here? We service a wide variety from the laboratories, the industrial pump industry, DIY market, a wide variety. Um, automotive, we touch on as well. And do you get involved in aerospace at all and, and medical? We don't get involved in aerospace. Um, we do medical for a medical supplier. We don't deal direct in the medical industry, but we do we do medical through a second source. And business good at the moment? How's things in two, been in 2013? Uh, business is very good at the moment, yes. Um, we, we're pressing on. Uh, year on year, we are um, increasing uh, business-wise and uh, staffing levels, turnover, machinery. We, we, we implement uh, a new machine policy. We tend to buy you know, one or two machi new machines every year, not necessarily new capacity, but, but certainly new machines to keep us at the cutting edge. So what machine tools do you actually invest in here, Ray? What do you buy? What makes and brands? We buy a range of machine tools. One of the main ones we use here is Star Sliding Head CNC. The reason I opted for Star right at the beginning of the business was due to the service and backup, which is second to none. The machines, it goes without saying, are, are very, very accurate. Um, the oldest machine we've got in the shop is a star. It's 2003 and we still turn to microns. And, and how many stars have you actually got here? We've got seven ranging from 16 millimetre capacity or right up to 32 millimetre capacity. Right, and other machine tools that you buy? Uh, other machine tools we buy, one of the other main machines we use is Hardinge. We use Hardinge lathe, turning centres and machining centres. We've got varying sizes, vertical machining centres, including a twin pallet machine. Okay. Um, and also we use Doosan. All of these machines are backed up uh, with our, our main tooling supply we use, uh, WNT. We have two of their vending machines in the back office um, for ability to get tooling out 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Right, so you use tool vend in conjunction with the obviously the machine tools that you've got. So you touched on Doosan as well, so you've got Doosan machining centres or Doosan lathes or both? We've got Doosan machining centres. So when you buy machine tools, Ray, um, what's the process you use? How, how do you go about sourcing them? Uh, generally we stick to the machines that we currently run, but the latest acquisition actually was prompted by viewing the MTD CNC website. We, uh, I got sent a mail shot over the email um, and I actually saw that a new manufacturer had got special offers on a particular machine um, and that's really where the source came from. Oh, is that the feeler machine that you've got here, the feeler machining centre? Yes, that's the feeler VMC 580 twin pallet. As we get to the end of 2013, how's 2014 looking for audio? 2014 is looking very bright. Uh, we're undergoing a lot of changes next year. One of the main things is that we're implementing ISO accreditation in, in conjunction with the BSI. Um, I bought a new quality manager in to implement that and hopefully that will take the business to the next level. 
So the expectations for 2014, once we've got the ISO accreditation implemented, we will be looking at uh, more investment in cutting edge technology, high quality machine tools to give us a more competitive edge in the marketplace, reduce lead times, give the customer what they're looking for. Uh, all in all, RDL Technologies has got a very bright 2014 to come. A great example of a company that started with small beginnings, RDL Technologies is a business that invests in high quality precision machine tools and certainly has a bright future.